Easy, easy. Good girl. <laughs> We've had some on and off thunder showers this week. The grass is growing like crazy. During the summer, I'm hoping to get some footage of praying mantis. Praying mantai, praying mantises. I'm not sure how that is supposed to be, but the plural for that. But anyway, there's a lot of them on this property. They're so cool. Like an alien creature. That's Manny's mother in the background. Yes, he does get the visitor. As you see, he's, he's not even on leash. When I take them out of the pen, he runs right to his mom. Gives her a kiss. Sorry about that. Look at that handsome devil. Who that, Manny? Is that your ma? Is that no no? Don't like this. Don't like the lens. Or me. Don't like me either. Anyway. Oh, hi. <laughs> she wants to be better. Yeah. Watch this. Said all day and just pet their dog. This is, this is so it's such a great animal to have. Emma was terrible this way. Honestly, you just want to look at see it just like her. Only even worse if Emma. He just bugs you and bugs you and bugs you until you pet him, and then the very, very moment you stop petting him, he's nudging you and slobbering on you. Please touch me some more. That's why autistic kids use these animals as uh, therapy animals. The animal will stay there and, and it won't move. But just let the child pet it, pet it, pet it, pet it. So as I understand it, it kind of makes sense to me the way autism works, at least I guess for some of them, is uh, you have like a, a solid white room with a couple of white pieces of furniture in the room. And you bring that child in there a couple of times. You don't change anything. And then suddenly you put like a, I don't know, a red ball in the room and you bring the kid in the room. To the kid, the furniture's all in a different place. It's a completely different room. The entire state of reality has been disturbed. So. When you got an animal that will just stay there and stay there and stay there and stay there and stay there, and stay there. this is, I guess, good for them. This uh, repeat or this this common this commonality about their existence, this this, this continuation, I guess, the continuum of, of what's happening. I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, sort of I do, but I'm probably throwing a lot of words in there that I completely out of context. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. 
As long as you understand what I'm talking about, I guess, you know? Frank Zappa once said, there are no such thing as bad words. If you want to tell somebody to go beep themselves, that's probably the best way to do it. So that word's not bad. The only bad words, I guess, are from, according to Frank Zappa, who I think was a pretty wise guy. Uh, the only bad words are the ones that nobody understands. So if you're trying to communicate with somebody, and, sorry, I have to do up this real quick. Trying to communicate with somebody, and uh, you use some words they don't understand, even if those words are good in another context, another situation, they're not good in that one. I wonder if I can see Nuna from here. No, she's in behind that tree. She's all the way back in there behind that tree. In behind that lattice. You see her back to see? Just a shadow of her moving around. She's like, okay, where's my rock? She gets her rock next. Worry not, trusty viewer. She will be getting her rock. You guys want to go up the other side now, huh? Watch the gonna we're running. Oh, kind of, kind of off their, their game a little bit today. Might be the weather, as you can see, it's a lot of overcast forever. I'll turn this thing. Yesterday was incredibly beautiful. I probably should have took videos yesterday. Oh, well. They got all summer. So there were actually two families who own my dogs, who purchased them as therapy animals for children they had who had autism. Have that had autism. Lost it! Come on! That makes us proud. Whenever our, our dogs actually have a job and it's the kind of job that helps humanity as opposed to being a trained weapon. Emma's twin brother is a trained weapon, I believe. It's either his twin brother, it's the, no it is, it's his twin brother. That's what I was told. Works for the military. And we can pull down a cow by himself. No kidding. I'm really not kidding with you. He actually can pull down a cow by himself. He doesn't need that guy's help. He does it all by himself. He doesn't care. He's like the unstoppable monster in ways when he wants to be. Many too. Hey, buddy. Stay. Sit down. Come here. I was watching a video on YouTube the other day and this guy's going around trying to buy people's dogs for $100,000. Nobody would sell their dog. There's one guy who was going to sell his dog and his wife showed up and wouldn't let him. I was like, damn, why did that guy come here? Two months ago, I had two I could have sold him. 50 a pop. You'd have to pass criteria though, of course. Actually, with that cost, I'd go inspect his property and build the, the containment system myself for him and still make it, jeez, only cost like, for two of them, if you put five grand into something, you'd make like the Volvo Wolfhound Hilton.
Так, девочки. This is why we say spectacular, majestic. That's what until they're embarrassed by their old ladies. <laughs> There are days that she just will not let up on him. He just lets her do it. in big time. See what I mean? How she harasses him and just she grabs him by the leg and I, she's dragged him a foot or two at one point before he can claim. One time, there, by the face. Look at he outweighs her by thirty pounds. There she goes. She just takes him out. I'm a terrible dog trainer, eh? I really am. That's why I love this breed so much, because I don't have to be a good dog trainer. They're so good at... So good at knowing what you want. beside me. I'm not holding her here. This is where she wants to be, right, right beside me, touching me, pressing against me. They have a strong need to please whoever owns them.
I'm not holding him here either. He's totally he doesn't even have a collar on. As you can see. Dogs don't have eyes like that, do they? Man? Good boy. Man, he's such a smart guy. Good job, buddy. Good job. And over here we have... Look at her. She's stalking him. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow, buddy. <laughs> well, there's a 20 minute Volga Wolfhound video. A couple little entertaining parts to it, too. Thanks very much for watching. So long from Canada.